Hi, Sam here. Welcome to my 10,000 subscriber queue and a video and sort of a thank you video got for you guys as well. Thank you so much for getting me to 10,000 subscribers. It's absolutely nuts to see five digits next to that in that subscriber count on my channel. Uh, it's been something that I've been wanting to achieve uh, ever since I started YouTube and I knew it was a step that I could make and I, it was something that I, I knew I could achieve if I just put my mind to it and I'm really, really proud to get to this stage and uh, hopefully from now on we can push forward and uh, even get more subscribers and uh, I'm just, I'm really happy that, that this whole YouTube thing is working right now and that you guys are just enjoying the content on the channel. The fact that, you know, I have a thousand to two thousand people watching every single video uh, or most videos is absolutely crazy. So thank you so much for the support guys and uh, thank you for continuing to uh, make me improve my channel because without you guys I, I wouldn't improve. If I didn't have to you know, hit a certain achievement. If I didn't have to step my game up uh, to match the subscriber base, I would never step my game up. So thank you for helping me improve. Uh, but without further ado, we're going to get into the question and answer portion. And I think at the end of the video, I'll have a little like, thank you. The first question here comes from Arcade Mind. He asks, what mic do you use? Now, recently I purchased uh, a Blue Yeti, which is the uh, microphone that I'm using right now to record this. This was my uh, upgrade from the uh, Blue Snowball, which is this thing, uh, which I used for quite a while, actually. Uh, and this is actually a really good microphone. If you are starting YouTube out, the Blue Snowball for me, for the price, is absolutely crazy. It is so good. Uh, and the only reason I upgraded to the Blue Yeti was because I could, uh, because um, everything I buy, pretty much, I buy from the money that I've made from YouTube. So I bought everything, the Blue Snowball, the Blue Yeti, the webcam, is all thanks to you guys. Uh, and I just put that money back into YouTube uh, to improve my videos. So I did use the Blue Snowball and I really do recommend this microphone. It's really, really good. Um, but the Blue Yeti is just so much better. <laughs> it is. It really is. This will do the job. But the Blue Yeti, for where I am, for the stage that I'm at, uh, it felt right to use the Blue Yeti. So yeah, I use the Blue Yeti microphone. Uh, but if you're starting out YouTube, uh, don't just splash the cash on the equipment. Um, the only thing that you should really get that's expensive is the Elgato. Uh, the Blue Snowball for me is the microphone that you should be going for. Joe Hay asks, what was your main intention when starting YouTube? Did you ever imagine meeting so many new mates by this stage? My main intention when starting YouTube was to do as much as I could. Go as far as I could. I didn't have a set uh, goal. Some people will tell you that their goal when they started YouTube was 10,000 or 100,000 or something like that. Uh, I didn't have one. I just sort of was like, let's just do it. Let's just go. As far as meeting uh, new mates, I didn't expect to actually meet a lot of people because when I was watching YouTube and not really creating content, um, you know, you, you sort of have, there's like a negative stigma on YouTube. Like it's, it's almost like a competition, you know, people, they're not really friendly, but there's, yeah, in the career mode community, it's really, really different, I'd say. And I've met a lot of people that I, I can't believe I've met, you know, people that I've been fans of, people that I used to watch. And I was like, damn, man, I wish I could do what he was doing. And now people that talk to me and sort of re respect me and stuff, which is, is interesting. Have someone that you can talk to that understands YouTube and that's doing what you're doing. I think it's really important to have that. So if you're an up and coming YouTuber, try and reach out and try and talk to as many people as you can. Not necessarily to collaborate. Don't think about it like as a collaboration sort of thing, just to sort of talk to. Because I can't really talk to anybody about YouTube in my family, even though someone that's living with me does know, which is my sister. I can't really talk to her about it. I could be like, hey, what do you think of this? And she could be like, yeah, I don't really care. So it's good to have somebody who's also doing YouTube that you can talk to. And uh, I'm, I'm really privileged to have met the people that I have. Monus asks, would you rather hunt an antelope or fuck a cantaloupe? I'd rather hunt an antelope. That'd be actually like sort of fun, especially if I knew what I was doing. But seriously, B Monus asks, what is your favorite hand-drawn Disney movie? Um. My favorite hand-drawn Disney movie is Alice in Wonderland, um, the original, like the hand-drawn one, obviously not, not the new one. Um, it, for me, man, I was just, I loved that movie as a kid, it was so good. The Cheshire Cat and the freaking Mad Hatter and the Marge Hare, they're just, it's fucking hilarious, man. That's such a good movie. Um, there's a lot of good ones, there's a little, lot of good hand-drawn Disney movies, but for me, nothing can top Alice in Wonderland. Jared HD asks, I want my hair to be as gracious as yours. Are you a head and shoulders type of guy? Head and shoulders every day of the week, mate. Every day of the week, you need some head and shoulders. That's how you get this hair. Stokey99 asks, um, he asks two questions. He says, who will win the A-League? I have no idea. 
because uh, I don't even follow the A-League. He also asks, have you ever played sport in real life? Uh, yeah, I played... Uh, I did tennis for a little bit, like, um, not really playing, just sort of like doing tennis lessons, training, when I was a kid. Um, swimming, I guess, is a sport, and I used to swim as a kid as well. I was like in the, in like the squad for the swimming thing. Um, cricket I played, and uh, also obviously football slash soccer for my school. So, yeah. Tyler asks, can I have your beard look? Maybe when you turn 13, you can have my beard. Jacob Hay asks, is football popular in Australia? Football is really um, sort of clouded here uh, by Aussie Rules Football, which for any Australians, I'm not a fan of Aussie Rules. But it's sort of like, uh, it's it's sort of a cultural thing. You either like it or you don't. A lot of people that like Aussie Rules don't like soccer slash football. Um, they just, they make stupid arguments like, oh, they're all divers and stuff like that. You know what, like just typical people that don't like it. But the people that like soccer are pretty passionate about it. There is a lot of plastic fans in Australia, there's a lot of people that just pick a team and they don't even watch them. They just check scores. Or even if they watch them, they're not really a football fan. They just watch them to say that they watch them and stuff like that. Obviously, this is coming from a Manchester United fan. So think about that, that I'm telling you that there's plastic fans here. But I'm actually a fan of football. Like, I actually watch other games other than Manchester United. So I feel like there are people like me who are actually into football. And there's people that are just fans of clubs just for the sake of it. However, when it comes to the World Cup and Australia, yeah, the whole nation gets behind them. Ruben Hutt asks, who do you like the most, Man City or Loserpool? Um, I don't think a lot of Manchester United fans would hesitate with this question. I, 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 if I had to pick, I'm not going to say who I like more because I don't like either of them. Who do I hate more? I hate Liverpool more. Way more. It's not even, for me, it's not even close. Maybe in England it's different, living in Manchester, like, sharing the city with Manchester City could be fucking shit, I could see that. In Australia, man, the Liverpool fans in Australia, no offence if you're a Liverpool fan that lives in Australia, but if Liverpool fans in Australia are seriously the worst, the absolute worst, the only people that come close are Arsenal fans in Australia, but Li Liverpool fans in Australia are just shit. They're so... They think they're so good, but they're just shit. I hate Liverpool because whenever United lose to Liverpool, I have to deal with all these absolute knobheads that are Liverpool fans in Australia. Some of them are my mates. And uh, they're just all fucking just cunts. They're all just cunts. Flick asks, at Flickify, my good mate, asks, what is the best goal you've scored in FIFA and recorded on YouTube? Now, I remember in FIFA 15, I had a few bangers with Thiago uh, Mota in the PSG career mode. Uh, for FIFA 15, but I think from recent memory, it's got to be that the the goal we scored, me and Tim scored in the co-op season series with uh, Dortmund, Borussia Dortmund. Uh, I probably am playing the video while you're watching it. Uh, if you, it was crazy, if you want to go see our reactions. Uh, with audio, make sure you check it out. But yeah, there's been a lot of long shots, there's been a lot of really good ones, but I've never scored a goal like that one that we scored with Dortmund. I've never scored like someone flicking it over to someone else and they just take it on the half volley. And uh, it was a fantastic goal, so I'd have to say that one. Dylan Cole asks, will you ever post uh, different games on your channel other than FIFA? Um, the quick answer to that is no. I'm not going to be uploading anything to this channel that isn't FIFA. Uh, however, in the future, I would like to have a second channel where I can upload uh, other games. A lot of YouTubers do this where they have uh, their main channel for what they're known for, whether it's FIFA, whether it's Minecraft or whatever. Uh, and then they have the second channel where they play all different bunch of games and stuff like that. I would like to have one of those channels in the future, um, but it won't be until I've hit, you know, a certain amount of subscribers. To where the second channel won't just be a few hundred people. I want to make a second channel, you know, as important as my first channel. And right now, I don't have the time. Uh, and I honestly, I don't think I'll have the support on the second channel. I want to start a second channel where it will have support. So, I don't know when that'll be. Um, but I, I do plan on doing that in the future, yeah. At Lebron X3 Dog asks, What other interests besides football do you have? And if so, would you make videos on them? Um, other interests other than football, uh, wrestling is the first one that comes into mind. Um, WWE, you know, is, is not the best. Uh, I watch a lot of Lucha Underground, which I don't know, I don't know if there's any wrestling fans here, but Lucha Underground is just very fast-paced wrestling, very high-flying, very, uh, technical. Well, I wouldn't say technical, but it's very high-flying wrestling, very quick pace, and it's so much fun to watch. 
Uh, if you like wrestling, but you're not liking the WWE product, I'd go check it out. Uh, if you're not into wrestling at all, um, you could still enjoy it as well if you want to go ahead and watch that. It's really, really fun. Uh, so that's my main thing, Lucha Underground. But yeah, wrestling in general is one. I don't mind a bit of basketball. Uh, NBA, I watch the NBA uh, whenever I can. It's usually on in the mornings here, which is actually not that bad. So I wake up and I watch maybe a game here, a game there. Uh, but making videos on them, uh, probably not. Maybe if I did a second channel, I'd put uh, NBA content on there. But I don't think I'd ever put WWE content on there because as far as games, uh, because I just don't like the games that WWE put out. Brian Marshall asks, uh, did you ever think you will get this many subscribers when you first started YouTube? Um, it's a weird one, that question. You never really um, expect to get them. Like you don't feel like you're entitled or you deserve them. Um, but I like for me, for me personally, uh, I thought, you know, I'm good enough to get a thousand, five thousand, ten, you know, I'm good enough to do this. Not in a cocky, arrogant way, just in a self-confident way. It still is crazy when you hit it. Like when you hit 10,000 subscribers, you're like, shit, like 10,000 subscribers. That's, that's a lot of people. But you always, I mean, for me personally, I've always sort of had that self-confidence of, you know, like if you, if you continue doing this, if you stay consistent and if you keep doing it and doing your best and putting your efforts into this, you can reach these goals. So did I ever think I could? Yes. Did I ever think I would? Eh, uh, it's still a surprise the fact that I've got 10,000 subscribers. It still is a bit surreal. So, um, I guess that answers your question. <laughs> Adam Douglas asks, who is your favorite player of all time and why? Uh, my favorite player of all time is actually not a Manchester United player, despite being a Manchester United supporter. Uh, it's actually Paolo Maldini, who played for AC Milan. And uh, the reason why was because uh, when I watched Maldini uh, and uh, when he retired, he was really what, if I was a professional footballer, he's really what I would want to be. Uh, a defender, first of all. Um, he made me want to play as a center back. Staying at one club, being an absolute hero at that club, beasting it in the national, you know, national side as well, and just really cementing yourself as an absolute legend. Like Maldini for me, he's like, if everybody, every professional footballer should aim to be like Paolo Maldini. You know, not, not necessarily you have to stay at one club, but to become a legend at a club and really cement yourself is something else. Uh, is just incredible. He's, he's my favorite player of all time. Jake Compton asks, are you any good at football in real life? Uh, I'm pretty decent. Um, I think my frame helps me a lot to play center back. Um, I'm like six foot three, so <laughs> I'm pretty good at, at playing center back. And um, yeah, a lot of a lot of my mates uh, reckon I'm pretty good. I never really played for a club because in, uh, in Australia, especially in Melbourne, you either play for your school, you can play for your school and then you can play for like a private club. Uh, and they, they're like two separate things. Um, but I play for my school, which is more of a, like a friendly thing. And then you can play for like a private club, which is more of like a competitive thing. I just played for my school and uh, we did pretty well. Yeah, uh, I'm not that bad. Uh, I'm not great. Like I'm not a good shooter of the ball, um, but I can distribute passes. I, I'm, I'm pretty good. I can read the game really well. So yeah, I, I'm not bad. I'm not that bad. Right, I know I said to keep this Twitter exclusive, but of course, some of you guys didn't even watch the video, or maybe you didn't listen and you asked me questions on YouTube. So I'm going to be answering a few questions from YouTube. If you'd asked them on Twitter, I probably would have answered them. But um, yeah, I'll do a few YouTube ones because, yeah, you know, people sometimes just don't watch the video and just ask the question. William Arega, Ad Adi Adiega, I hope I pronounced that right, asks, what do you do uh, besides doing videos? So what do I do besides uh, recording videos, making videos? Um, I work uh, with my dad. And uh, we do all sorts of shit, man. I mean, he's a handyman, so we do like painting, we do repairing, we do fixing. And a lot of the times I'm doing that, which is why I can't really keep a daily upload schedule, why I can't be uploading two videos a day and things like that. Uh, other than that, I chill out, I play NBA 2K, because I really like that game. I watch wrestling, I watch Suits, uh, I watch a few different shows. I have Netflix, so I've been watching a few things on that as well. But yeah, I get out when I can. Uh, work when I have to and that's pretty much it and then just sort of relax watch YouTube um, I think that's the thing that I've, I've never sort of lost is just my love for YouTube and watching YouTube videos Scarbs FIFA asks uh, what is your subscriber goal for the end of 2016? Um, I don't know I've never really had a subscriber goal like when I started YouTube I didn't really start thinking uh, You know, this is how many subscribers I want to have 
And even like when I started, like I didn't say by the end of this month, I want to have this many subscribers. I sort of just do my thing. I sort of just upload and, um, lately the subscriber count has been sort of like up and down. Like I've just sort of like, sometimes I get a lot, sometimes I get a couple subscribers a day. So I'm not really too fussed, but including FIFA 17, uh, as part of this year, cause it will be, I'd like to be nearing 20 to 25,000 subscribers. It's a lot. It's still, <laughs> that's doubling my channel, but, um, Hey, I doubled my channel when FIFA 16 dropped, so, I mean, it's not impossible. Especially seeing as a lot of those subscribers will come from FIFA 17. Um, I'd like to, I'd like to be around 20 to 25k, yeah, for sure. Which is crazy to think about, but I'd like to be there by the end of the year. Nicholas Lettuscrats asks a lot of questions. Will I be doing Ultimate Team? Uh, no, just career mode. Uh, are you going to make live streams? And that's the question I really wanted to answer. At the moment, no, uh, because I don't have the internet for it and I don't have the PC for it. But, um, look, if I do end up, uh, if this YouTube thing ends up being like a legit thing, yeah, I could see myself live streaming eventually, um, but I'd have to be paying for my own internet because the internet here is ridiculously bad. Or I'd have to up, uh, convince my family to upgrade the internet and I'd have to get a new PC, which I am planning on doing very soon anyway. So yeah, it is possible that maybe FIFA 17, we could be doing live streams. Um, and I'd like to live stream. It is something that I do want to do. All right, guys, that wraps up the Q&A. Again, before I leave, I do want to say thank you again uh, for getting me to 10,000 subscribers. It's, it's been crazy. You guys, your support has been absolutely nuts. And hopefully we can just ride it out uh, through the end of the, the FIFA 16 and into FIFA 17. And uh, it's going to be crazy, guys. I'm not planning on stopping doing YouTube in, in a long time. You know, I want, I want this to be my life. And you guys are giving me the opportunity to potentially make this my life. So thank you so much for your support. And I just want to just continue doing my thing and continue to create content for you guys and improve the quality and all that. And uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the content because I really am passionate about this. I've never really been passionate about anything. You know, in school, I never really enjoyed a subject so much that I had passion for it. I had love for it. And for YouTube, man, for content creating, I am passionate about this. I, I really, really do want this, guys. So thank you so much for your support. I'll see you guys in the next one very soon. Keep it real.